All right, we're back with a number member of the Comic Book Assembly, and I believe your name is Andrew? Andrew Skinner, that's right. So when did you become involved with this group? Just uh, this past December. James here introduced me to the, to the group, and I, I felt the urge to come, come and check it out. Okay, so I mean, what do you like about this group? What is unique to this group that intrigued you? It's really nice to be able to get together with other people that are interested in the same stuff that you are and to bounce ideas off each other and to keep your spirits going. No pun intended. All right. So um, I saw you showed me some of your work earlier. How would you um, define your style? I try to combine the more comic bookish and realistic aspects, aspects together because that's, that's what I've always liked to see in other people's work and I try to do the same for myself. Okay. Uh, is there a certain balance to that that's important? In terms, of, in terms of posture and shading and expression, that's, that's what I try to put the most emphasis on. So what do you, what do you avoid doing? That's a tough question. Yeah. Um, there's a, I'm still, I'm still relatively new to this. I just graduated college, so I'm kind of taking the time to experiment. Is that what you went for? Yeah, for animation and illustration, actually. So, you showed me the, the those images, and um, we're gonna be able to find. Do you have those online? Not yet. I'm, I'm working on that. I, um, I'm kind of, I'm kind of a stickler for cop copyright infringements and stuff like that. So I'm. Some of my images are on the internet, but they're more like college exercises and stuff like that. So until I establish a more professional website, I'm trying to keep my more professional stuff away from there. So no, those characters we, no, we no, saw. Not yet. Now, who were those characters? I was really intrigued by those. They're characters I've been working on since I was 15. I, uh, at first, they were more standard superhero types, and they, they still are, but my experiences at college taught me to kind of step beyond that a little bit. Now I'm trying to treat it more like romantic fiction, like fairy tale type, type stuff. What's the story you're working to develop? It's, um, it's definitely a superhero tale, but I'm trying to make it some, I'm trying to combine in elements from classic literature and stuff like that, so it's not just a standard good guy versus bad guy type thing, it's something a little bit deeper, more effective than that. Something. Something like Watchmen, V for Vendetta, that whole thing. I noticed, uh, would you say your style is influenced by some of the European artists? I see, I see that yes, a little bit. Yes, I, I love European art, especially uh, uh, Dante's take on, on uh, the afterlife and stuff like that. So, who, who, are your, who were your influences? What really got you going? In oh, there's... Um, Mike Mignola, Brian Bolland, a little bit of Dave Gibbons, like I said, uh, classic illustrators from the black and white periods and stuff like that. Cool. So um, are you going to uh, be contributing in a future anthology by the uh, Comic Book Assembly? I hope so. Oh, cool. Do you, I mean, do you already have like a, a story in mind? Not at, not at this moment. I'm trying to develop something for the next Syzygy especially, but... Uh, other than that, just just working on this, and that's about it. No, yeah. um, the work you showed me uh, was you, it's just a lot of pencils. Do you also do the inking? Yes. Cool. Yes. And uh, you also do the coloring. Yeah. All right. And why is it? Um, what's your opinion on? Because when I grew up, from the comic books, always had there was a separate inker uh, letter. You know, letter. Uh, you yes, know, the yes, I'm, the, I'm were, aware the rows of that too. were divided and nowadays it's it's just one artist. What's your what's your I, opinion on that? I think if you can do all of them, take advantage of it, you know, but uh, there's nothing there's nothing wrong with dividing it up. It you know, it speeds the process up a little more and it's more of a group effort. So that's nothing I don't see anything wrong with that, but uh, if it's your own project and you can do it, I say go ahead. That's that's why I do it. Cool. So you said you're developing a website and you hope to have that up soon. Um, what's your goal? I actually want to go into animation. So, but doing stuff like this helps me to, to develop my style and gives and helps me to develop my vision. So, I'm probably going to stick with something like this for a while until I get further up the food chain. Okay. And so, 
how, how have you grown as part of the comic book assembly? What have you learned? I've definitely learned to do more experimentation, to have more fun with, with the line drawing. And um, just recently I, I learned it's nice to use photographic references, but don't stick to it to a T. You know, use it as a guide rather than a strict guide, rather than a strict set of rules to follow. Cool. Thank you very much. I look forward to seeing what you do in the future. Oh, thank you, sir.